I remember one word that my mother told me. Mm-hmm. Do not allow anybody mm-hmm. in this family mm-hmm. pa- buy for you a book. What? And it, I thought it is something. The reason? the reason behind it is mm-hmm. uh, they will say they took you to school. <laughs> People, kama kawa, kama kawaida, I'm here, your girl, Gloria Susan. And today, guess what? Hey, ni mwaletea watu wa power, mtu wa power. And I'm here with amazing, wonderful person. Eh? Anaitua Edward. Say kusema yote ID. Yes, karibu sana. Asante. Yes. Thank you, now many church. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad to have me. Mm-hmm. So, tell us, eh? who is Edward? Hmm? Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm um, Edward mm-hmm. Aligula and uh, many of my friends do call me Eddie. Eddie. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, that's okay. what I go by even at home. Mm-hmm. That's how they refer to me. Mm-hmm. I was born in Western Kenya, specifically Vega County. Mm-hmm. I grew up in Kakamega County. And most of my life I've spent uh, in town. Though I loved the village life for some time. Mm-hmm. I'm married wow. and I'm blessed with three children. Mm-hmm. So that is young, as young as you can see. My uh, no, first... No, no, no. <laughs> I'm married to, you know, nowadays you have to specify to a female wife. Yeah, yeah. And her name is Joyce. Mm-hmm. I met Joyce some time in 2009 and I decided to marry her in 2010, in December. So God has blessed us with three children. Mm-hmm. We've got a girl, nine years, and she's in uh, grade four right now. Mm-hmm. We've got a son who's six years in grade one. And we have got a daughter who is two years. She's still homeschooling. So <laughs> you have us. two daughters and one son. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Most of the people tend to assume who I am. But I want to say a little bit of myself is that uh, I've gone through a very hard life to be what I am today. So I'd rather start with a full stop and then I'll go to where the sentence begins. And the secret of uh, my success to be what I am is I can speak in my in a language that the young people can understand. Mm-hmm. The distance from your knee to the ground explains hey. or defines your success. Hey. I hope you got that. I got it. <laughs> uh, wisdom, that, wisdom, my friends. Oh. By that I mean mm-hmm. my connection with mm-hmm. God. Every time I kneel, I pray, and that is how I get success in life. The thing that has changed my life is my salvation. Mm-hmm. Receiving Christ is what changed my life. Mm-hmm. In 1999, is when I got Christ. How old were you? You want to know? Yeah, at least some talk were like, you can be, okay. you can, yeah, you know, at a younger age, you can be born again, you know. I got yeah. saved at the age of 14. 14, wow. Yes. And I think many things led to me getting born again. Mm-hmm. For your information, my parents passed on. They left us when we were young, and I was small by then. So life drew me closer to Christ. First of all, we lost our ancestral home. It was taken away from me, uh, from us. We are, I'm from a family of four. Many people think I'm the firstborn in our family, but uh, it's the other way around. I'm the last in our family. It's only that I carry a responsibility because of the grace that is upon me. My parents passed on, and it was a difficult time that time, and I would say uh, there's uh, what we call stigma, because my father was HIV positive, and my mother too. So so they both died at the same year? Just in a span, a difference of a year. After their death, a um, lot of things happened. My relatives, my own relatives, 
they became our enemies. My paternal uncles took away our land and we were thrown out from the home. So living in town in a rented premise for some time, we are unable to pay house rent. We used to have uh, some shops which they collapsed and uh, we, had, uh, we had two cars, they were taken away from us. So we were left without anything at all, and it was hassle. Uh, it's like no land, no nothing, exactly. nothing. Exactly. Okay. I remember one night when the landlord threw us out of the house, I didn't have a place to go. It was around 9 p.m. So I decided to just walk away from that place, and my mind was not thinking at all. I decided now, okay, let me find a place to go. Mm -hmm. I went to the streets, you know, the Chokoras, the street children. How I had to join them. Other siblings? It's another story. I wish you invite me again to mm, talk I about mean, my siblings. I but I'll, mm -hmm. allow me to say about myself okay. for now. Okay. I went to the streets without knowing how I would spend the night. So mm -hmm. I spent the night on the streets. I didn't have a place to go. Everything was out and when I came back in the morning, those things were still out. Nobody has stolen even one. So people approaching neighbors and friends, family friends, to buy those things from us. Uh, they want to buy at a throwaway price. But I remember the words of my mother said, don't sell anything. So mm -hmm. I had to obey my mother. We never, I didn't sell anything. My sisters wanted to. My brother wanted to. But for me, I said I'll not do it. So I never did it. Um, I went, that is how I got myself to the streets. Mm. I was a partly a street boy and could be hosted by well-wishers, spent with, this, with them some nights. The only difference mm. I had with those street children, mm. I did not sniff uh, or I did not use mm. glue. So I was, uh, because I was a church boy, on Sundays I go to the church. So you could go to any church? Any church. I didn't have a specific church by name. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember I went to Pefa Church in Kakamega and mm -hmm. that time there was a youth ministry that I was involved in. They said, okay, we're going to have street children. We will host them for lunch. Mm -hmm. So, And I was creative in what I used to do in the mm -hmm. church especially. Mm -hmm. So I used to do what I love most. Uh, I'm an actor. I love acting. Mm -hmm. uh, drama. Most of the places I've gone to and acted, I've been uh, one of the best actors. And I can do news anchoring. Oh, I've never yeah. gone to school to train, mm -hmm. but I can do. You, can do you want it. me to try? Try, try. If I try on tarifa ya bari, mkisome onami, balozi wa yesu, kwanza, ni mtasari wake. Oh my goodness. Wow, you made it. So, <laughs> what? Um, I can do both in English and Swahili, mm -hmm. I'm gifted that way. I say it's a gift because I've not trained to do it. Indeed it is. Now, I was just talking about being in a church, a Pepha church. They oriented me to a very unique ministry, ministering to the youth, mm -hmm. especially street children, mm -hmm. whom I brought several to the church. And most of them, if up to today, they are transformed. And wow. um, I went to prison. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've heard of uh, Shikusa, is in Kakamega. That's uh, I went to the prison and I led the church now. If you can imagine, I led the wow. church to a prison to do ministry. And I was uh, invited to speak to the prisoners, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this God gave me the wisdom. And I was very young by that time, a very small body, not like now. <laughs> Later on, I decided to move to live with one of the pastors. This pastor took care of me. He mentored me in the church for a long time. And I became a youth leader in the church. But life was not easy because I had to go work, fend for myself. Yeah. Now, I didn't know I need to work with using my hands for me to get some things. If I tell you I've uh, gone to cultivate for people's uh, to plow people's land for me to earn a living i could contribute to the family but 
all this time I'm out of school. After after yeah. now primary school. Yeah, it was after primary school. Mm. I spent primary school is just a different story. I think can, I can do another day. But wow. I've spent a whole year out mm. of school when I did my class eight. How old were you when your parents died? Okay, I was big enough. I was a boy. I was 14. But uh, what pained me most, I was still young. I was actually turning 14. And something unique, mm -hmm. they died the, the, the month of August, the mm -hmm. time you're interviewing me. So we are just two days away from my father's death. What? I'll be commemorating his death and my mother also passed on the month of August. So to me this month is very symbolic and I was born the month of August. So what? my birthday is just a few days from now. So uh, month of August is very symbolic to me. I was young by then. But not very young, you know. There are those who are vulnerable at a very tender age. At least for me, I'd gone to through my primary yeah. education. Mm -hmm. Now at class eight, uh, it's uh, when I lose all parents here. Mm -hmm. Now, something that uh, really made me feel that I'm an orphan, a total orphan. Mm -hmm. I was dependent on my parents, so much dependent on them, and for everything. I remember one word that my mother told me: mm -hmm. "Do not allow." anybody mm -hmm. in this family mm -hmm. buy for you a book nice. and it, I thought it is something the reason. the reason behind it is mm -hmm. uh, they will say they took you to school mm -hmm. and I want to tell you yeah. I didn't heed to the advice of my mother there is this kind of relative of mine I will not mention a name mm -hmm. who bought me mm -hmm. a pen a pen for, but, te for 10 book children yes mm -hmm. But this person goes around the whole village what? saying, took me to school because of what I am today. What? Okay? And I... It's like he was taking advantage of it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I tell you, relatives, and I want to tell my relatives, please, learn something from me. I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. I remember how you took us. How you rejected me. The pains that I've had to go through after the demise of my parents. It has not been an easy journey, but God has helped me to be helped me to be where I am. Now, back to you, uh, Susie. Let me tell you, there is a scripture in the Bible that has always encouraged me mm -hmm. to be what I am today. The book of Matthew, chapter thirteen, verse thirty-one. He talks about the mustard seed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know anything about the mustard seed. I'm not <laughs> about to come here to preach. You can preach also. But I, I want to tell you something about the mustard seed. Mm -hmm. Jesus says it's the smallest seed uh, to, uh, to have ever existed. And the farmer took it and planted it in a farm. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let me explain how that blesses my heart. Mm -hmm. The mustard seed... It's very small. Yeah. If you are to put here the mustard seed, you try to take a pinch, you'll pick several of them. Picking one is not easy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Meaning it's so small and popular, and Jesus uses a seed that is not common in the Jewish culture. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I say? It is not an accident to have been born in a family that I was born in. How I wish I could be born in the president's family. But I was in that, born in that family with that reason. With that reason. Yeah. It's not by an accident. Yeah. God brought me in that poor family mm -hmm. for a reason. Yeah. The master seed was planted in a farm and it grew bigger than other plants in the garden. Mm -hmm. It spread into uh, branches. Mm -hmm. And there is something that people, even preachers, don't mention about it. Mm -hmm. That the birds of the air came and nested in the, inside the, the, the that, yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah, plant. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what does that imply to me and even to you? Mm -hmm. You are not an accident. I'm not an accident. Mm -hmm. God planted me in a family, mm -hmm. in a school, mm -hmm. in a society, mm -hmm. in my place of work wow. to be of impact. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's not by an yes. accident. Like, mm -hmm. For me, mm -hmm. where I am right now, I'm doing my PhD. So very soon, mm -hmm. I'll be graduating with my doctorate. Wow. It is by God's grace. Mm -hmm. God has placed me in a society to 
bring impact. That plant spreads its uh, branches and the birds of air come to nest inside. Mm. Now, what has God done to my life? God has helped me to be a youth with a difference. Now, Edward, I want you to tell me more about now education life. How was it? The journey and some challenges and all about education. Okay. So you already know there were challenges. I know. Ah, <laughs> all right. I know. You know, I can't talk about, you can't talk about my education mm-hmm. or myself. I cannot talk about my education mm-hmm. without talking about uh, mm-hmm. where uh, where I started from. Mm-hmm. You know, education begins from home. Oh, Allah. Okay. There is, there is a story. Yes. There is a story that... Mm-hmm. Uh, the parent that I spent most of the time with Mm -hmm. was not my mother, was not my father. Mm -hmm. My mother and my father, they had a conflict and they lived kind of a separated life. Mm -hmm. My father Mm -hmm. uh, used to live in Mombasa Mm -hmm. and my mother used to live in Kakamega. Mm -hmm. And myself, in my childhood, Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I was not, I I never had my mother's milk. What? uh, When I was born, that is the story. I, I can't recall because I was what? small. But uh, the story is I was very small mm-hmm. living with my aunt mm-hmm. in the village mm-hmm. in Vihiga, mm-hmm. Sabatia constituency. Mm-hmm. Um, living with my aunt. So I was most of the time cultured by my aunt. My mother took mm-hmm. over me when I was in class five. You were like. That's true story. What? <laughs> God, I'm so, so shocked. What? Uh, when I was small, uh-huh. it was funny because mm-hmm. I remember sitting on my mother's laps, a mini beba, when I was in class, class five. Si kwamba alikuwa meni but mm-hmm. my father mm-hmm. had a conflict with my mother. So you can see it, how parenting can cause. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, what am, why am I bringing that story? Mm-hmm. That affected my learning in primary school. Mm-hmm. My primary school, I never performed well. Mm-hmm. And I think the story begins on parentage. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, back at home, mm-hmm. unafika nyumbani, there is no food from school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you you come for lunch, okay. you find the, the, the ash is very cold. So you just knock a hip bomb. And in the morning, you remember, in the morning, metoka subu yuliamka, kutua ngombe inji, unamka weka kuku inje, unamka kutaftia uyo ngombe nepia grass. You have to do some beauties before, you, before you leave. And it, it's not a guarantee you'll have breakfast in the morning, my dear. What? And you have to go to school. So I'm that kind of a student. Mm. You are Even your mind, your mind is not there. Yeah. Mm? Mm. So uh, it was terrible. Mm. And that contributed to my performance in school. Mm. In primary school, mm-hmm. I used to, you could not struggle getting my name on the list, on the ranking list. Mm-hmm. Unakuja tu naanzia pale chini. Kienda juu. Unapata hapo ni kwa hapo chini hapo umechora hiyo hapa line inachorewa kwa. Wow. Katikati watu wa tu. Okay. And we used to be a good number of students. I remember in class 8 we were 133. What helped me mm-hmm. to pass KCPE? Mm-hmm. Guess what? And I'm not encouraging young people or those <laughs> who are s- children who are in school to be guessing <laughs> in school. Work yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. It yeah. only worked for me that time. It yeah. might not work for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you draw a cross. Mm-hmm. You put A, B, C, D. Mm-hmm. Then Mungu Saidia. Saidia, pa, sure. C. In the right C. Again, Mungu Saidia. What? D. <laughs> well, and it so it's like you are ni betting. Um. It's kind of a betting. I think that is when the, the, the betting started in Kenya. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it worked for me that time, but I advise and I repeat, I advise you Don't. not to Don't. try. It. Especially. This, yes. eh, these days, eh? Yes. Mm-hmm. Suzy, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I passed. I got 433 marks out of 700 during through my time. guessing. Through guessing. <laughs> Actually, I can say through well, guessing. Let's say through I'm guessing one person who what? finished class 8 mm-hmm. without knowing how to speak English. What? Honestly speaking. The word people. I used to read peo pule. What? Exactly. You're joking. True. Guys, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know. What? At all, at all, at all. I didn't know English. So, 
Okay. Uh-huh. Um, so that's, in fact, I could not bother reading questions because I don't understand. Mm. <laughs> no. I think you hate English and no. No, no. I had a very bad ad- attitude uh, with towards education. Towards teacher, me, yeah, not, honestly. Not even teachers. Yeah. <laughs> education as a whole, what? I didn't see the meaning. Yeah. Okay. So after painful. finishing um, primary primary school, as you have, you have already said that you look out for one year in J, you, you see. So mm. what what happened after one year? Did you manage to go to high school? Um, and then yeah. Okay. For the one year that I was out of school, mm. there are lots of things that happened I wouldn't mention right now. Mm-hmm. But I managed to go to high school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was to join Chavakali High School, mm-hmm. but I never joined because I didn't have school fees. Mm-hmm. And uh, what happened? I had to join Mbihi Secondary School, mm-hmm. one of the best well, schools I don't in know Kenya. That <laughs> well. anyway, just kidding. Mm-hmm. But this school used to have lots of bullies what uh-huh. bullying was so high and i was a very tiny boy mm-hmm. that time mm-hmm. so um i since i couldn't manage school fees at chavakali high school mm-hmm. i went to this school here when all the wale <laughs> magaidi wa nairobi it's a kind of a, a dumping what? site so i was in that school now god started using me in a different way do you know, in primary school, I had never been a class prefect. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here comes in high school, the first role I'm given eh. is a timekeeper. What? So, have to be punctual. I've been taught how to be punctual. It helped me, my life. And then, number two, I became a prayer coordinator when I was in Form 2. What? In the Christian Union. Uh-huh. And number three, I became assistant head boy. Allah! Something when you are in form was two, uh, uh, that uh, now, form three now, for uh, towards, uh, yeah, normally they do towards yeah. the end of the term when you're going to form oh, three. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I served as the, the, the assistant. assistant head boy, yeah, and then eventually I became the CEO chairman, Christian Union chair. What I became the head boy, and I can tell you there is a history that I, that I left in my school. Mm-hmm. Bullying that was there ended during my tenure. What? And I normally, we have a WhatsApp group with uh, some of the alumni. Mm-hmm. And they say, hey guys, you really helped us. Wow. Wow. It was by dialogue, talking to people. Mm-hmm. Because I was a Christian Union member mm-hmm. and an active one. So mm-hmm. talk to guys and to receive Christ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there are some who are even calling me today. Just giving, t- telling me. Thank you for what Thank you, you for, did. Yeah, you helped yeah. them. So what about the school fees issues? Wow. Like? I joined uh, with 3,000 shillings only. Eh, okay. Now. <laughs> but those days were, especially uh, more compared uh, to nowadays. No. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm poor, <laughs> 3,000 is like a million those days. Um, <laughs> you know, that money, you would have asked me where I got it from. You mean even... Ile okay. nafanya kibarua and nipata school fees. Wow. So nika enda, nika plead na So nikaenda, nika plead na principal, nikaambia, mimi naomba tunafasi ni soma. Mm. And the principal was good. I appreciate his late but mm. right now, but I appreciate uh, principal John Rigado. That man, God bless him. Mm. He allowed me in school. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Yes, it reached at a point he could he couldn't even allow me. Mm. So I have to go for school fees that I don't know where I'm going. I'm not going it remember is... I'm not living at home. What? I'm living with the well wishers. So I what? didn't have a specific It's like when I migrate from this place yes. to what? So Mungu alinisa idea. Mm-hmm. Teachers were so good, mm-hmm. they could uh, chip in when I sabuni. Mimi ni mesa baina one trousers and a shati moja toka form 1 paka form 4 my friend what nikienda hizo out hizo trips za nje uh-huh. naomba uniform form 1 wananisaidia what kwa sababu zao zingali mpya mm. <laughs> so mm. i survived that uh-huh. hata kiatu i used the to same. go from nili all survive all na kiatu moja what from form 1 so uh-huh. thank god mm. sikuwa na grow mwili libaki ile ile <laughs> by the way when i was in high school mimi ni it grew after yeah, so uh-huh. I thank God mm. I made it in high school, but uh, was above your stress, mm. depression. Yeah. I was expecting to score A, but I didn't get A. I got a C plus, and uh, God helped me so much. Mm. After getting a C plus, mm. 
I was out of uh, college mm -hmm. for a period of uh, five years hey. without joining. What? After Guys, there school. is still hope. <laughs> <laughs> so young people, <laughs> Musiki Ferro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, five years out of school. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I doing? It's another story. It's a long story. I'll call you. <laughs> yeah. God, God, Mungu ni wata. So you managed to kind of yeah, college. Kwenda college mm -hmm, sasa. Mm -hmm. Mimi kwanza nilikuwa ni siende college. But uh, because of my talent, somebody mm -hmm. spotted me and said, Edward, you need to go back to college. Yeah, I had given up. Okay. Given up. I mean, kwenye tuwa. Okay. Masomo ni ya kuna wenyewe watu mm -hmm. wasome. Lakini sisi sasa, mini menge club ya... Oh, yeah, yeah. But I thank God. I didn't say I didn't 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 I I what? Actually, nowadays, boy, uh, you talk like, hey, mom, imagine I just put you up as an adult. Don't you see? I just look at this. It's uh, they need to. It has changed. They need to stretch their minds. Mm. Dependency syndrome is really killing our society today. Yeah, yeah. Mutu po, it doesn't make sense. You are at the age of twenty. We still depending. Mm. Mm. Okay, maybe. Mtu atasema ni kwa sababu I'm an orphan kwa hivyo sasa ningekuwa na wazazi mm. labda ningekuwa kwa nyumba ya wazazi not so I'm not I don't mean that but I'm just saying once you are the age of 18 you mm. need to think outside the box for me I started thinking outside the box when I was the age of 14 mm. I started working for yourself yeah, for myself mm -hmm. so and I could bring food on the table now mm. uh, sasa high school nilipomaliza mm. 5 years out of it mm. college ni kwa nime give up mm. but Mtu wakanyambia, hey, ingia college. And I was like, uh, now, college, so I end up finding And you don't have money, remember? I don't have money. You don't have anything. I don't have anything. It's you alone. It's me alone. What? Now, I was told, uh, this friend of mine said, uh, chagua kitu utafanya. I love mass communication. Mm -hmm. So, I'd mm -hmm. rather do mm -hmm. journalism. Mm -hmm. So, nili, uh, nili apply masinde Modiro mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. I got admission. Nilitaka kufanya mass home, mm -hmm. the chance si kupata. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapa, hui ya kanyambi, unezo fanya theology. Mm -hmm. And then I said, Mr. Kikuwa pastor. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yes, no. I used to preach, uh -huh. but uh, when you are on a way, like professional, pastor, professional thing, uh, mimi, mimi nitaka kuwa mtakazaji. Okay. Iyo ndio kitu nilitaka sana. Okay. I wanted just to become a news anchor. Anka. But that it is. never came uh -huh. in my life. Uh -huh. So later on, akanyambia, Ingia to theology, mm -hmm. once and I, mm -hmm. it is a stepping stone to mm -hmm. what you want in life. Mm -hmm. huh? I accepted Kangia Friends Theological College where I started uh, my degree mm -hmm. in theology. Mm -hmm. Then I transferred to uh, Hope Africa University in mm -hmm. Burundi where I've been for seven years. Wow. But I studied for four years with a degree in Kamaliza. Mm -hmm. Something that I can tell the young people. Mm -hmm. um, I experienced something in Burundi. It's a francophone country. They mm -hmm. speak French. Mm -hmm. And I was in a university that was bilingual. They teach in English and French. Mm -hmm. But 70% of the courses that I took were done in French. What? What? Now, Another challenge. Let me surprise mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe. Let me just tell you how it was. Mm -hmm. I graduated with a first class. <laughs> Graduated with honors what? in a francophone country. What? Uh -huh. That was amazing. So amazing. And I, in, in fact, I was the only student who graduated with a first class degree. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, and then later on, uh -huh. I was uh, preaching in a congregation. Uh -huh. One day I was preaching in, to a congregation of uh, about uh, a thousand people. Uh -huh. And I saw people recording my sermon. And mm -hmm. here, there come a couple who asked me to uh, they, they, to have a lunch together with them. Wow, and wow. I said, you, are you aspiring to become a televangelist? I said, no. But if I get an opportunity to I become can. one, then <laughs> go for it. So mm -hmm. uh, why am I bringing the, 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 this couple in my story? Mm -hmm. They are the ones who supported my master's education. Mm -hmm. They gave me a choice to choose a university of our choice. Wow. So... I know you are now Kenya, Kabisa, Kuam Kenya, Alice. Uh -huh. <laughs> you get a Kimbia Maju. 
USA. But for me, I say that I study here in Africa. I am going to USA. <laughs> so, uh, they have reasons as to why I chose to mm, study okay. back at mm-hmm. home. I really wanted to be in my home. Okay. So, I studied at Africa International. I chose Africa International University mm-hmm. where I took my master's from mm-hmm. and I graduated with a distinction. What? Top of the class. Again. Again. Hey. Uh, I thank God. Mm-hmm. And at master's level, I now did um, education. Mm-hmm. I've specialized in curriculum and instruction. Mm-hmm. So I am a curriculum practitioner. Wow. And that uh, helped give me a chance to work with uh, organizations mm-hmm. to, in, uh, to assist in curriculum development. And I'm a consultant. Mm-hmm. So currently, I'm a consultant for wow. curriculum matters. And I thank God for that. Um, Maybe just to end, currently I'm pursuing my PhD wow. in education in, uh, uh. at African International University. I'm specializing in curriculum and instruction again. Uh. And uh, God is faithful because he's giving me the provision, he's providing for my fees. I don't complain. Mm-hmm. And God has given me people mm-hmm. around who are really mentoring me. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're encouraging me mm-hmm. on this journey. Mm-hmm. And I would say, God has been good. Amen. Amen. And I would say, come on, ataka kusoma. Mm-hmm. Usiogope kuna pesa. Don't fear. Tell them. Mm-hmm. Young people, mm-hmm. if you really want this education, mm-hmm. don't fear. Yes. This is the secret. Mm-hmm. Get that application later. Get an admission. Secure an admission in a college somewhere. Mm-hmm. In a school somewhere. Mm-hmm. And then pray over it. God will provide. Remember, this is Africa. So, unajua, uzunguni labda watakuambia, takta pesa kwanza, yo ingie kwa shule. But, my friend, in Africa, African realities, we face them head on. Mm-hmm. Get the admission letter, yeah. secure it. Mm-hmm. Secure a place first. Ala fi pesa wacha tutafte. Enter into the system, mungu atakuwa na kusaidia tukisonga mbele. So, uh, Edward, uh, when you, according to you, you make up five good years. Five, even not one, two, three, four, five good years. Yes. Without, but we are doing college. But afterwards, let me come to Pale. I just do okay. I make up maybe two years, and mm-hmm. he or she feels like, ah, what should I do? Can I go to school again? You know, the part education chain, I go like. He's confused somehow, you know. Can mm. you just give them a piece of advice to tell them that there is a there is, it is possible? Thanks, yeah. Susie. Mm-hmm. To the young people out there, I want to be to give you a free advice, and I want to be frank with you, especially for those who are Kenyans. Vijana, Kenya ni shamba ya mawe. Yani lazima uji. Ujitume. Ujitume. Yes. Mimi nimejituma na vitu mob mm-hmm. to be what I am. Mm-hmm. Mimi nimekuwa kwa shamba ya mawe Nairobi. Bas. <laughs> na ona vijana unatembea na bahasha kwa mkono. Mhm. Mtu amebeba kabasha hivi. Mhm. Amekaa mahali hivi ana and I think ukimuuliza is... nini kwa ndani ya hiyo envelope mm-hmm. ni CV. Anataka job. Na amesoma, hana job. Head knowledge does not equate to your success. Mhm. Kuna akili ya kuzaliwa, my friend. <laughs> Lazima pia ifanye kazi. Yeah. Usiku melea tu mikono hivyo. Yeah. Now, kitu ningependa kuambia vijana. Kama umekua out of, uh, umemaliza fourth form, mm. na uja ingia kole, usingoje your mom, your dad, your uncle, ama mtu fulani ya kukeleke shule. Mm. Tafuta, kama ni 1K, ama 2-5, kwa, so, it depending na college. Mm. Uh, secure that admission form. Mm-hmm. Secure the school first. Yeah. Alafu ukiwa kwa sisi, mm-hmm. mambo ingine itafata. Yeah. Fisi itakuja badai. Mm-hmm. Reality ya Afrika si kama za US. US watu wa university kwanza ndiyo ingi college. Lakini in Afrika, mm-hmm. mse tafuta kwanza iyo admission form. Ukisha mm-hmm. ipata, mm-hmm. sasa hii ingine, skula mabasari zina bitu zingine. Stanza kujileta tu. Once you're in the system, this is not going to follow. Yeah. Usikai tu unakojea te ile pepa. Theory ulipewa class, mm-hmm. do inakupea job. Mm-hmm. Jitume, my friend. Mm-hmm. Jitume. 
nenda na hiyo bahasha yeah. plays mm. wa, uliza job wakati yeah. unakuwa turn down mm. usichoke utasema the other mm. na skill and then jua ku network madijana sasa shida ni social media muko tu hapa hivi muko tu hapa na masimu unafikiria facebook una una social media sasa net, networking mm-hmm. you network with the people who can help you unajua nini acha nikwambie kitu imenisaidia kwa life yangu mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa niko na business card mm-hmm. hii business card haina kitu maana <laughs> lakini uh-huh. yo, okay for size kuna kitu ya maana na tunasema hapo kitambo kitambo sasa ilikuwa na kitu ya maana uh-huh. but uh-huh. nilikuwa na business card uh-huh. alafu wakati nasikia kuna tu workshops uh-huh. mimi naenda ku attend uh-huh. mtu anaangalia pale anaona a hey, team player ndio title yangu uh-huh. kwani hiyo team player ni mimi na network uh-huh. and now they are the same people who are consulting with me okay they are looking for you yes. at ito so young people wow inafaa tujieke kwa groups tuache mm-hmm. hivi tu ya kupoteza time sana kwa social media yeah. and then wengi wanapenda mabash mm-hmm. bash ni poa wengi wanapenda yeah. rave enye hata mimi nimeenda rave <laughs> wengi wanapenda kuwaka mm-hmm. by the way kaka kuna msema amewahi waka mimi nimewaka sana what nime sniff bang for real for real okay life another topic uh-huh. life women push like what? to the young people mm-hmm usichoke yeah. mambo kama unatafuta job yeah. network just with the right people yeah. na wale watu ambao wanasema eti ni vuna za waambia kuna wanasema ai manze hii Kenya without connection au mededi nime niko na a like like una nini una connection unajua nini hmm? uh, ideas mm-hmm. vijana inafaa kuwa nazo mm-hmm. na mimi naweza kuwa pa advice hii mm-hmm. ama consultant mm-hmm. career consultant for your information mm-hmm. so take my number and then we get talking 07 i'm free i It's... pick calls mm-hmm. i respond to messages mm-hmm. whatsapp nico social media nico mm-hmm. i'll talk to you and you're ready to help i'm ready to help yeah Yeah. Wow. Najua kuna wale wanataka ni wapedo na pia nikiwa nazo mimi ugawa. Wow, yeah. Yeah. but Lakini, pia the muhimu ni skills muhimu, like the foundation. I teach you how to fish. Mwisho naweza young people siri ya success yani. Mm-hmm. I told you earlier that uh, the distance from your knee mm-hmm. to the ground mm-hmm. equates <laughs> to your success or is directly proportional mm-hmm. to your success usiano wako na Mungu mm. my friend mm. Mungu ni faithful hata wakati sisi sio atuko faithful so build a relationship with this God mm. Christ loves you mm. and he wants you to succeed 